Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. So after I made a video about Pastor Isaac Oyedipo, the son of Bishop David Oyedipo, who recently resigned from his position in the ministry, the video was basically about my thoughts and what I felt was the reason for his resignation. I received a lot of comments, I received a lot of personal messages, even off YouTube, Facebook, and even on my WhatsApp. And someone sent a particular video to me saying that the video is recent that it was because the father said what he said in that video saying that his ministry church is not supposed to be a family business that is the reason the son decided to break out and go start up his own ministry i followed the link i went and watched the video that to me is not the reason why pastor isaac left the ministry that young man has a different calling and he's living if at all it is true that he's living he will be living to face what god has asked me to do but before i say anything i want to say please watch the video big one let the other define the process of succession process of what because you're going to live here someday or you won't live even if you are made to say like you will live someday you will live someday Define the process of succession. Define the process of succession. You know, Joshua is not a biological son of Moses. And the sons of Moses never caused any problem. They were very holy sons. But they were not the one chosen by God. Define the process. This thing is not genetical. Define the process. Let the process be well understood. Life, life is so simple. Define the age limit because you need the energy to drive, yes. particularly all these big, big ministries that are rising. Yeah. You need the energy to drive, energy to drive. Don't get an 80 year old person to come and drive a trailer. No, 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 you will sleep up. <laughs> Define the terms of eligibility. So there won't be anything you are running around for. Who and who are eligible? What must they possess for the eligibility? What is the process for the ultimate emergence? They find it. It's so simple. Not when we are about to die. Um, Baba, who is taking over? There was one Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> they said he has, he has left. Is in heaven. What of uh, jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you are doing kalu kalu with people. No, 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 no. Moses went to the mountain, set a man over this congregation of God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, you can toy with small, small things like that, but not where you are going. No, not where you are going. You define them in concrete terms. You read it true and true and true, and then you vet it. My God. Now, here's a big problem. Many, many charismatic ministries won't see the next generation. Won't see the next generation except as a change. All this hand over to your son, hand over to your daughter, is not ministry. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not ministry. No prayer, no nothing. And no process, only between you and your son. That's not life. Define the process. If God picks that son, it may not be the first, it may not be the second. Maybe the other default. But it's not a uh, family inheritance. It's not a uh, chieftain's title to your, your religious process in the spirit. If the man gets it, it will still be subject to vetting of the body responsible. Hello. Uh, you're quiet now. <laughs> My God. <laughs> 
praise God. That's how to secure the coming generation. You don't do that, you have it. Now, if you go by that thing that people are doing now, the next leader will also put a son there that may not even be born again. That's the end of the ministry. That may not be born again. That may even sell the build, the church. I said, ministry fold, folded. Come and call anybody who wants to buy. <laughs> That's why order must be set. Order. I fear that some top buildings today will become entertainment centers tomorrow. I fear. If there's nobody to check you, sir, you may check yourself out of ministry. You may check yourself out of ministry before you knew it. So, all right. So that's the message a lot of people sent to me, and they were like, maybe it's because of this message, because of this statement by Bishop David Yediko, that's why the son decided to leave the church. That is not true. That is not true. Now, if you remember, on the 1st of October, think either the first or second october fountain of life church in lagos had a new leader now the new leaders of the church was the son and daughter of the founder of the church who recently passed away a lot of you are aware of this particular news i don't want to go deep into it. now this message from bishop came online this same month october i want to believe personally that he was reacting to that incident where the leadership of the church moved from father directly to the son and the first daughter of course a lot of nigerian criticize that decision criticize that election criticize that installation of the first son and the first daughter of the former leader of the church i'm very sure this is what bishop was reacting to because of course this meeting i just played he was addressing church leaders and pastors according to what i can find online now this speech was not directly referring to his own children now of course it will interest you to know that the winners chapel living faith church already have an existing succession plan for the ministry so it's not something that if bishop is no more available today if bishop is called to glory tomorrow the leadership of the church directly falls on his son the church already have set up have already drafted out and i believe all members of the church they are aware of this way back in 2020 it discussed this in a church service i don't know whether it was a church service or it was a leadership meeting or it was pastor's conference or something but in 2020 that's three years ago it says something about the succession plan of the church of the commission that this thing doesn't go directly to the son. It may mention of the fact that church is not a family business. It doesn't run in the blood. Anointing is not transferred by heredity, transferred by genetics to the family, to the son, to the daughter, to the wife of the man who founded the church. Interesting stuff to hear. In fact, personally, I was not aware of this. And this have doubled my respect, have doubled my honor, have doubled my regards for Bishop. This is how the church should be run. The church is the business of god so if you are calling to ministry you are only mandated by god to run his own business so you don't have that power that express power to put people in charge of god's business you have to consult god first let him tell you let him direct you together with the body with 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 the leadership of the church who to succeed the business of God. So for people who felt Pastor Isaac left the church because of this statement, please, it is not because of this statement. If this kind of statement was to be a reason for him to leave the church, he would have left since 2020. Because this video I'm about to play, Bishop made this pronouncement way back in 2020. So if the son was to leave the church because of a statement like this, he would have done that since 2020. No, no. If you want to leave a church as an inheritance for your family, the church has died. If you read the book, the mandate, you see the succession procedure of apostleship in this ministry. When you are 70, as leader of this church,
you will present three names to the council of priests for them to see if any of them is qualified by the secretary. They are not qualified. Throw it back to you. Have one more chance to make another presentation. And after that, you are out of it. The council takes it. The board goes to ratify. It's a process. You know that somebody died and then we don't know what to do. You know what to do step by step. And this happens within three weeks. This takes me between 10 and 12 weeks. It's dated. God is counting to determine where next to place. If church becomes your personal property, you have lost it. It becomes a family property is dead. Many charismatic churches die before their founders die. Why? They own it. It's an enterprise to them. What cost Jesus his life? A faithful man who can find him. Or you know what he said? The just man works as his integrity in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Your children won't suffer after you. Your children won't suffer after you. This is so important. Don't call your sons and daughters to ministry. You may frustrate their destiny. You don't. You don't have to be in ministry to serve God. Allow them to be positioned where they belong. You will have rest. Maybe one of them is a God or they John D. Rockefeller of this generation. Helping to form the needs of humanity. Rescuing many who don't know the truth. To be free to live till they know the truth. Indeed, these are words of wisdom. And I respect the man of God for this level of wisdom. I wish a lot of younger ministries even bigger ones can copy from him, can borrow a leaf from him, because this in this a word of wisdom. And for you thinking that it's because of the statement in the previous video, that's the reason Pastor Isaac decided to leave the church. Like this particular one, is it is it not more deeper, more personal than the previous one? So if anyone were to be threatened to the point of wanting to leave because he feels there is no inheritance for him in this current ministry, let me go start. He would have left since 2020. He would have left since 2020. Again, this is all it should be. This is one reason that even businesses, a lot of businesses in Nigeria do not survive beyond the owner. Because, yes, because we leave competency and want to give it to the son of the man to manage. Church is God's business. And God should be the one to install anybody, to call anybody into that position to continue from where his previous minister left. He's the only one that has the right and the power and the knowledge of who can run the ministry after the previous leader left. Not because God gave you the call. Automatically, your son should inherit the ministry. God thing don't work that way. I believe him, I trust him, and I respect him for this. Please, this is not the reason Isaac decided to leave the church. If at all, he has left because right now it is still a rumor. Because there is no confirmation, there is no press release, either from him or the living faith church. So let us just calm down and wait. So right now it is still a rumor. There is no confirmation he actually left. Thanks for watching this video, please share and subscribe to the channel i love you and god bless you for supporting this channel